สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to my fifth and final episode of my five colors of Thai rice series. So we have looked at white, brown, red, and black rice. Today we're going to come back to white, but it is a different shade of white, and I'm talking about Thai sticky rice, which if you look at it side by side against jasmine rice, you can clearly see that it's an opaque white and it's a much brighter white. So I can have the sitting side by side in two unlabeled bags, and I will never get confused. So Thai sticky rice, or what we call khao n i e o is the second most popular kind of rice consumed in Thailand, next to white jasmine rice, especially in the north and the northeast. Now there are many kinds of sticky rice on the market, so how you tell that it's a Thai sticky rice is. Usually, in on the back, it'll say Thai sweet rice. It is not sweet; like it's not any sweeter than any other kind of rice. So I'm not entirely sure why they use sweet there. Um, or sometimes it'll be called Thai glutinous rice. And also, if you check that it's a product of Thailand and you check the colors, the opaque white we talked about earlier, then you can be pretty sure that that's Thai sticky rice. Now, I want to point out that this is not the same as sushi rice, which is also very sticky, and some people refer to it as sticky rice. But Japanese rice is rounder and shorter, and also it's a translucent color, not as white and opaque as Thai sticky rice, and. It's actually not as sticky as Thai sticky rice, and they cannot be used interchangeably. So cup per cup, sticky rice is actually higher in calories than jasmine rice, simply because it's so much denser. I mean, if you look at it, look how dense and sticky that is, and it's so sticky, in fact, that I can just pick it up. And eat it with my hands, which is how Thai people usually eat sticky rice. But the good thing is, it doesn't stick to your hands. Now I have been asked because this is called glutinous rice. Does that mean it contains gluten? And no, it doesn't contain gluten. There's actually no rice that contains gluten. The word glutinous just sort of refers to the texture of this rice, which is really quite chewy and satisfying. So sticky rice actually takes much less water than regular white rice. That's why it's so dense at the end. So we don't tend to cook it in water where it can get mushy pretty easily. So traditionally, what we do is we rinse the rice and then soak it in water for at least three hours or up to overnight. Get it completely saturated with water, and then we drain it. And steam it, and you can steam the rice using a steamer rack like I've got here. You'd want to wrap the rice in a muslin or a tea towel or something so that the rice doesn't fall through the holes. And you can also just get one of these bamboo steamers too. And then you just put either of these racks over a pot of boiling water. So you just want to make sure that the top and the pot sort of fits more or less nicely. And that should just take 20 minutes for it to be completely done. And if you're feeling hardcore and you want to cook sticky rice traditionally, you can get yourself one of these. So this is called h u a t and it's a bamboo cone steamer made specifically for sticky rice. So the rice just goes in here, water goes in here. Um, I have a video that shows you how to use this thing. If you're interested, I'll put the link right up here and also in the description box below. Now I have one tip. For making extra soft sticky rice, and this is useful especially if you know that you know you're, the rice is going to sit out for a while and it might not be piping hot when you serve it. After you've soaked the rice, drain it, and then pour in some hot off the boil water and let it steep for about 10 minutes. Then you drain it and steam it as per usual. That way, the rice gets a chance to sort of. Cook in water a little bit, and it'll stay soft even after it's cooled down. You might be familiar with sticky rice served as dessert, like in mango and sticky rice. But in Thailand, we actually eat this instead of white jasmine rice often. But because it doesn't really soak up sauces, it's so dense. We don't serve things like curry or stir fry with it. But we love eating this with barbecued meats, with spicy salad, with dipping sauces, and you can sort of think of this as bread. You know, you take off a chunk and you dip it in things, and you put meat on it, and it's really fun to chew on. And it's also got a bit of a nuttier flavor as well. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you have to give it a shot. 
If you have leftover sticky rice, you can refrigerate it, but I wouldn't do it more than a day because I find that there's so little water in here, it dries up really quickly. When you reheat it, it's just never quite the same. But if you freeze it, it'll reheat to be as soft and as chewy as it once was. However, I would put a damp towel or paper towel over it so that it doesn't dry out while it's being reheated. And that is it for my five colors of Thai rice series. I hope you've learned something new and I hope this has made you want to try something different. You know, make dinner a little more colorful. If you've got more questions about any of the rice I've talked about, get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or through my website, hotthaikitchen.com. And I will see you next time. Sawatdee ka!